following had ceased also, giving place to a sensation of uneasy, temporary rest. And when I listened closely, I fancied the pounding was that of the vast, inscrutable sea, as its sinister, colossal breakers lacerated some desolate shore after a storm of titanic magnitude. Then I opened my eyes. For a moment, my surroundings seemed confused, like a projected image hopelessly out of focus. But gradually I realized my solitary presence in a strange and beautiful room lighted by many windows. Of the exact nature of the apartment, I could form no idea, for my thoughts were still far from settled. But I noticed in them colored rugs and draperies, elaborately fashioned tables. Chairs, buttons, and divans, and delicate glasses, and ornaments which convey the suggestion of the exotic, without being actually alien. These things I noticed, yet they were not all uppermost in my mind. Slowly and inexorably crawling upon my consciousness and rising above. Proceeding shutters attached to these windows, I closed them all. 